it's a Linda Mac D. Actually, some combination here. If you want to go watch the original video, it is made by Trading Lab. How she made millions using the Mac D. You can get more details here. But I went in and just coded the Mac D up, and I made it in a Sierra chart format. So Linda Mac D. And also have dots because you know I love the fucking dots. So there's a dot there, the dot there, there's a dot there. Okay, so green dots obviously indicate an upward thrust. Red dots indicate a downward thrust. You can choose how do you want to process what the trend is. Right now, I got a 200 EMA and a 21 EMA. By the way, we're on the mess. We're on the MES for this particular thing. And um, basically, trading opportunities would be, we're under the 200 EMA. Or again, you can change it to the 100 EMA. You can keep it 200 EMA, whatever you want. You can also use uh, cool things like the... Uh, like the super trend, if you want to just show the super trend, kind of get the trend from the super trend, you can do that as well. But for now, let's just raw dog it with the 200. So we're under the 200. And looking for a short. Since we are under the 200, 100, however you want to do it. You come over here, we have our first opportunity for a short right here. We have the Linda MACD cross. So this is not exactly like the video. Go watch the video if you want the exact uh, terminology, the exact kind of thing. But we do have a cross of the Linda MACD on this particular candle. So this would be, uh, once we closed underneath it, which would be here, would be a short, and then short we go. We do have an opportunity to get out on this candle, or you can play the pullback, add, 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 get out here as the Linda MACD crosses as well. Got many more opportunities here. Could go short here get out here so you have from here to here as a surge uh etc etc obviously if it goes sideways it looks like shit <laughs> uh in that case you could just kind of watch for it to cross under the green this is the EMA 21 so you could watch watch for it to cross under the EMA 21 after a so you have a sell signal we crossed under the 21 closed on the 21 spent a couple of bars under here so this candle could indeed be an entry for the short. A little more on the paranoid side. Again, not exactly what she does. Uh, if you go watch the video, you get more of a handle on what's there. But I figured the MACD being up here, not only down here to where you have to sit here and stare at it, but also here as well would be great. Because now I can just see on my chart, yo, it crossed, right? So you have a big surge, you're coming back, you got a little bit of a cross right here, and you see it here. So this would prompt you to look down here and say, yo, that didn't come up a little bit. Trent is down. That's a little bit of a thrust up and then back down. So that would be the entry right here would be a beautiful short. And there you go. So you can get out here, re-enter here, get out here. Or you can just say, yo, we're under the EMA. I'm going to rock it until I get a signal down here, maybe a cross or something like that. Whatever you want to do is fine. So if you go to F6, you will see it's called Linda Ante, and it is on the Google Drive if you want to pick that up. Under Sierra Charts Data, you will see the Linda Ante Study Collection. And basically, you're just going to download this and import it into your Sierra charts by going for F6, choosing Linda Ante, and choose Load. And that will load up the Linda Ante setup, and you will be good to go. Go over a couple more examples real quick on this. I turned on the Super Trend. You're going to do that by going to F6, highlight Super Trend, and uncheck Hide. Right now, it's probably going to be hidden. But we can go and sort of wait for the super trend to go red, which happens right there. Have a nice red super trend. Wait for a Linda setup, which would be here. Go ahead and trade until we get down here. And that would be a clean trade using the super trend instead of the EMA 100, EMA 200, or whatever you're looking at. Right here, we have a super trend that's red. We already had an indicator here, so we could either assume that this is a good time to go ahead and enter, especially since we're under the EMA. Or we could just say, yo, it's red. I'm just going to sit here and just kind of wait for a setup. And that right there would be your setup. So that a little more safer. I'm already in the trend, kind of crocking through. 
I got across here and then I would get out here for a clean, easy trade that would be with the super trend. We could do that again right here. We have a super trend that starts red here. We have a buy signal since we're red super trend. I'm gonna take that. Do you have a sell signal here? would go ahead and take that, ride that down here, uh, and then exit, I guess, whenever you want to. Kind of confusing that you have uh, circles almost right next to each other, kind of sideways looking, but you get the idea. You get the idea. So indeed, sort of follow the super trend if you want to. Again, change it to, here's another one. We got a red super trend starting here. Got a setup, go ahead and take that and then get out on the green. So we get in on the red crossing down here, and then we get out on the green crossing, which would be down there. So there you go. So we got out, we got in here, and we got out here. So a little bit of a dip move, and uh, just trading from here to here kind of thing. So that would be the bottom of this bar, which would be right here, to the uh, bottom of this bar would be right here. So you'd get uh, that trade in there, a couple of hundred bucks, Pretty easy peasy. Uh, you could also wait again for it to be underneath the 200. You can change it to 100, whatever. Here's a green super trend, very nice. We're opening up on the day, as you can see down here. We're opening up, so it's 8.30 right here. It's 8.30, we have a green super trend. So we wait for the 8.30 mark, there it is. Or you could get in on the signal here, since we are green on the super trend, there's your buy. Get out here or just ride it until it crosses the EMA, which would be right there. So you could get in here, exit here, get in here, exit here, get in here, exit here, whatever. I mean, obviously, I wouldn't get out until we like physically cross the, the green EMA 21. So again, this is a 21 EMA. And uh, this is the Linda Anti, this is the Linda MACD setup. From here to just keep on, keep on, uh, crosses here. So good profit on that. Nice little surge up. Anyway, it's available on the Google Drive. Download it, play with it, and let me know how you like it. Thanks for watching.